understand. Or get from A to B quick and quiet. Interested? I'm listening. It's simple. You go to the Kabuki Waterfront, collect the package, give me a call, then I tell you how to deliver it. Very straightforward. Yeah. Everything is set my day. Don't worry. There's a bonus in it for you. Imported and duty free. <coughs> duty free and detail free. Yes, but all together for a year. It's a nice simple job. I'm always worried about getting paid. Pay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, sure, I mean. Good, I knew we'd find something to turn in. Head to the Kabuki waterfront, then search for a fridge with the words, No Future. Once you locate it, collect what you find inside, then call me for further instructions. Till then, I guess. Okay. Cranmer? That's a... Okay. Crank. Crank. Okay. Welcome, runners, to Mad Hen Plays. Um, Cyberpunk 2077. Okay. So, this is what we in the biz call Side Quest City. Because there's going to be a lot of side quests in the, in the dough. But before I do any of that, let's go get my... First things first. I need to do that for something. Anyway, let's go to... Let's get my car. So I'm gonna go to jobs. Big in Japan, full of mail. Human nature. Ugh. Let's track that thing. Let's go fast travel. Because I get some Del I want Delamain money. I want my Delamain money, damn it. So, I don't know, well, how far in Cyberpunk did you get? Not that far, because I started side questing too, so main story-wise. Uh, speaking of, seeing as I'm at my, am I in my apartment? <laughs> Hold on, let me go to the map. Because I think I could find, wait. Where's, uh, uh. vehicles. So let me just go, let me do that. Okay. Here's my apartment. So I, I gotta, what? Oh, euro dollars. Okay. Wow, I only had 15 bucks. Okay. I thought, I think something is here that Jackie left behind, and if I find it, I can talk to him at the end of the game. Mm, okay. Try to find out what it is. <sighs> okay. Let me stand. I, hey, I said stand, V. Stand. Stand for me. I don't want to sleep. Oh man. Really? Nothing? Oh wait, I didn't even go to Jackie's funeral yet. What the hell's wrong with me? Um... Oh yeah, then you don't have it. Yeah, no. Uh, where's Mama Wells? I was questioning that slightly because I was like, you didn't even talk? Like... <laughs> yeah. It's been a long time since we talked. Since when Jackie passed away. Calling to offer my condolences. Offer your condolences. I is so pleased to me. You lived under our roof. Have the decency not to treat me like some stranger you just met. I was going to call you. I prepared an offering for Jaquito. We can let him go with that proper goodbye. The ceremony will be at the Boyo Many of his friends will be there. Say no more, Mama Wells. I'll be there. I did not doubt it for a second. I eat them, LB. Yeah, so I'll attend his funeral. At least, yeah. 
But first, I gotta get Delamain to uh, run me over. How nice. Johnny, see what happened? Oh, my. He is off here. <laughs> you don't say. I'm good. Greg, he ain't the run. City's most courteous chauffeur ups and drives away from the scene of an accident. <coughs> Now, to call Delamain. Oh, never mind. You will be like, I will not take your call. <laughs> I'll have to track this job. I will take your text message. Yeah, right. Well, okay, so here's the context. Uh, Delamain is a completely automated AI vehicle service, right? Luxury cars and all that. Thing is... Uh, like, seven of Delamain's cars literally just went... Oh, wait, no, you know that because... Oh, wait, no, you probably did this side quest. Because you were agreeing with me when yeah. I was all like, why did they do... Why did they get GLaDOS? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to be that presumptuous. <laughs> That's like, why am I wasting my words when you've already done this side quest? Because you agreed with me with the whole GLaDOS, GLaDOS situation. Well, whatever. I still we just had a brief lapse of memory where we went through that discussion. Yeah. But like, I'm. Yeah, no. Um, one, th one thing I didn't know, like, uh, you see all these exclamation points. Mhm. Mm so like, all these exclamation points are like side quests that aren't listed in your in your journal memory in your journal entries with all the other side quests. So you like stumble onto like random shit, and I'm like, oh god. So when I called out from, so when I called out of work yesterday, I was all like, I have to work on my boss's thing. But I was like, you know what? I'm gonna like not. I'm gonna go just cyberpunk it up. I played cyberpunk for eight hours straight, and I have no regrets. I wasted a day doing absolutely nothing, and you know what, Captain? It felt amazing. To do it's nothing. like that sometimes. Oh my sometimes god. Sometimes you just need a day of, of nothing important. Yeah. To have your energy back for actual importance. Yeah. Oh, Doug, what the hell are you talking about? You, you're you playing this for your channel? You're playing this game for your channel? Look, there's actually... I'm not going to say there's a difference between playing this for, for the show versus playing this game just to, like, unwind. Like, technically speaking, while I'm doing the Let's Plays, granted, I hate them, I still kind of unwind while doing it, but I've never just unwound for such a long time, eight hours straight. I was in absolute bliss. It was like taking a mini-vacation for me. Because, like, when I go, um, when I see my folks in, in Kansas, well, soon it's gonna be in Minnesota, but, like, uh, when I see my folks... I don't even do that anymore. Like, uh, wait, what? Oh, Padre. Oh, no. <laughs> Already. You got that ear to the ground. Siempre. Anyway, you need something. You know where to find me. You got it, Padre. Anyway, like, the thing is, like, whenever, when I go back to, uh, uh, see my folks, all I do is just get more game development work done slash tutorials and shit. Well, you're gonna go data crash mm. on your ass. Yeah. Okay. Well, Makes sense. I mean, yeah. I'm just. Would you be so kind as to give me your lawyer's contact information? <clears throat> you, sir, brain. Thank you. Processing data now. Please wait. Uh, hey, Dell. Hello, sir or madam. How can I be of service? What's got into you, Dell? Don't recognize me. You sent me a message saying I should come in about the accident. You are currently speaking to a Delamain network subroutine. Alas, my operational capabilities are limited. Could you please clearly recite your incident report? Give me any numbers. I saw the French one. Uh, 77-0011-0096. Incident report on file. Confirm. 96 at the end. It's a public enemy. Government target. Your identity has been established. Mr. Hans Jonas, what phrase would best describe your experience of incident number 77111010196? Yeah. 
Actually a little heartbroken about my damaged ride, but I'd rather talk to the real Bellamine if I can. V, my apologies if the receptionist was a bother. I'm preoccupied with the crisis that is ongoing, and I simply cannot oversee everything. I've taken the liberty of transferring a settlement to your account to compensate for the damage done. Ah, better to oh, my. Technically speaking, I can go to Rogues now, but there's a... Sure, you could. Stop. Well, I'm gonna grind, too. This is a good chance to grind as well. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, this is the time. Yeah. The more I grind, the um, higher the street cred. See, like, with certain cyberware, like the rocket hand, I need 22 things of street credit. Besides, mm -hmm. like, some of the other perks that I get... Like, if I upgrade, like, body and strength... Hey, I'm right here. I'm, I was right here for, like, a while. Um... a guided tour will prove some form of compensation. This corridor links the shop to the office. Okay. Anyway, so, like, some of the perks and weapons I get, yeah, it, it'll it'll help me deal with it. Especially if I want to, when I start going cyber cycle hunting. Because the cyber cycles, they, they, they are tanks. Dude, I had a dude. I was all like, um, when I was playing separate in a separate no, 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 save file, I was playing for eight hours straight, right? I reached level twenty, no, yeah, level level twenty three or something like that. I came across this one cyber psycho. Who, number one, had mines everywhere. I mean, like everywhere. I couldn't even dent the dude on a weapon that did like five hundred damage, and he just one shot at me like so easily. Yeah. I feel honored to have you here. Rather, surprisingly. All these lights, what are they for? That's what I wish to discuss with you. A green light denotes a vehicle with which I am in contact. As you can see, that is no longer the case for some vehicles. Those are the red lights. Repair drones can't take care of this? This time, I fear, human intervention is required. I'm aware you offer a broad range of services and are unusually discreet. Thus, I'd like you to assist me in recovering my missing vehicles. Okay, sure. I'll go after your missing wheels. I'm pleased to hear it. I shall send you the coordinates of their last known locations. You must simply deactivate each. I'll then re-establish the link and return them to my garage. See what I can do. Delamain vehicles Ooh, garage. are exceptionally secure. <laughs> Be sure to have a scanner with decryption capability. In the words of Moses Lack, Ooh, look, everyone, the garage. Ooh, la dee da, Mr. Frenchman. Oh, what do you call it? A car hold! <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that quote. That was like, that's from the episode when Marge becomes a cop, which apparently isn't canon anymore. What? Why is it not canon? I, I don't know. It's the Simpsons. You know how they, they play fast and loose with their canon all the goddamn time. Anyway. Yeah, but I mean, like, I don't remember them having an issue with Dodge Vent before, so why is it suddenly, like, that one thing? Yeah, wow. right? Uh, well, okay, so let me track this job. Uh, where? It's, I think it's that one. No, that's Beat on the Brat. Um, trying to remember where I found it. Oh, fuck. Fuck! Is that it? Side job, biz. Well, first. Okay, so I'm. There's a. There's a fast transport that I need to find first. Fast transport. You're. Old. Oh, there it is. <laughs> fast travel. Fast travel is so good in this game. If you ever want to avoid, well, eh. wait, 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 wait. Okay, I know. I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I really am. But I'm going to try this. After that, we'll go say goodbye to Jackie. Come on. See? Not soft not soft freezing on me. Like it did the last time. Huh? Since we're going to work together, only right to say hello. They call me El Capitan. And they call you 
See, no introduction is necessary. I already took care of that. Someone comes to me with beers, I take care of them. I eat, sleep. Mm. Fine, let's just go to Heroes. Okay, so it's not that. Oh well. For the record, it was where I found- this is the area where I find Skippy. The smart gun. Mmm, okay. Yeah. I'll just go to, uh, get Jackie's thing out of the way. Uh, Let's do this. Really? It's pretty massive. Really? Nice to see you. Okay, sit. Sit. You want a beer? Wouldn't mind one. Um, can I have the beer now? <laughs> yeah. Salut. Lot of time has passed. How you been? Been better to tell you the truth. What is happening? That night when Jackie fell. Let's just say things haven't exactly been easy since. Yo sé cómo te sientes. Todos sabemos. I am in the middle of preparing an ofrenda. There is still so much to take care of. I want to take part in the ceremony, but. I want to do it the right way, in line with tradition. Mm -hmm. Something I'd lay by his casket, that I'd do justice to his memory. I, mean, I don't got anything. Mm. But your heart is in the right place, Minio. Don't worry. He's symbolic. Look for something in his garage. His past is all there. Again, car hold. Jackie had a garage? He used it for his motorcycle, mostly. But not so long ago he moved in. You'll find something there, I'm sure. You won't mind me digging through his stuff? No, Mijo. He's gone, and funerals are for the living, not the dead. Toma, take the key. Thanks, Mama Wells. Ah, don't mention it, Lee. You have respect. My mother. The garage is on Republic. <sighs> and now I come across what's her name? Hello, Damn. Misty. Not exactly the safest neighborhood in town, you see. I used to sit on the stairs when I was ten. Twenty-six now. If anything was gonna happen, it wouldn't have taken this long. What are you doing here? I mean, you say that, but... Sitting and waiting. <laughs> and yeah, waiting for him. Though I know he's never coming back. Lately, I've just been coming here to sit. An hour. Sometimes two. I know it's gone, it's just... I miss him. Oh, wanna sit? Catch up? Hardly gonk at all. Just, well, human. I guess. You know each other long? Half our lives. Grew up in the same streets. Saw each other a lot, but just never got together. So a year back. Yeah. Best darn year of my life. Oh wow, that smile. Damn it, I hate. Ugh. Jack talked about you a lot. Always saying how much you meant to him. Did he really say that? I bet he used different words. Maybe. But that's what he meant. I 
really believe that. You actually got to know him. The real Jackie. Everybody else thought he was a goofball with a rough hewn face and an edge. But they're wrong. What did you see in him? Let me tell you what he told me once. Told me he'd take a bullet for me. In an instant. Even if it'd kill him. Spoken like a true Haywood boy. A man. With dreams. Ambitions. Only thing they cost him was his life. There's a huge chunk of his past in there. Mama was having a send out for Jackie. We need to find something he really cared about. Now give me a hand. I'm not sure I should go in there, V. Still too soon? No, it's not that. Mama Wells and I aren't exactly on the best terms. She wouldn't want me touching any of his things, disturbing the memory. That I know. Jackie didn't want you here. That's more important. Come on. I know this is. This sounds very shitty, and I will eat it. But at least your lover died. My ex girlfriend. I said the L word to her. Me. I was the one that... I don't usually like bringing up the L word at all. But, like, I said it first. You know how we broke up? She dumped me to go back to the guy that divorced her, and I felt all types of great for fucking... for a fucking year. Fine piece of metal in the can. Yeah. He was so psyched. Yeah, the bike is really psyched about this uh, funeral. It's like, I'm finally going to be in the hands of V. I'm finally going to be in the hands of V. <sighs> Jackie loved to pump iron, didn't he? He called it his form of meditation. He used to say, barbells are the best listeners. They understand all your problems and never give you gonk advice. For whom the bell tolls, Ernest Hemingway. Jack read it a dozen times. Always right before a big job. He said the guy who wrote it was tougher than Morgan Blackhand. You read it? Is it any good? I... I never got the chance. It'd be a good tribute for the Ofrenda, though. Guess no man case complete without some of those, huh? He said they're collectibles. They don't print them anymore. That's definitely why they're up there. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else that, that are in, that's in here? Basketball signed by Dante Gonzalez. He was from Haywood, too. Everyone here shot hoops. Dante ran circles around him. I think he might have been the first kid to ditch the Valentinos. Like Jackie. Mm-hmm. They both wanted more out of life. Dante's captain of the NC Blackouts now. Jackie, he should sweep all the dark energy out of this place. A sand mandala would do the trick, for example. He told me that out of sand he'd build a castle, a home, the Wells family hideout, stronghold, something. I guess you made a bigger impression than you thought. I guess I did. It's beautiful. It's hideous. Wow, okay. But it's also the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And that's why and that's why Misty's <laughs> Misty's such a good character though. Yeah. Yeah. An aquarium. It used to be tacos. And taco was a fish. A dwarf shark. Like many. Sounds like a mighty expensive fish. Oh, I don't think he bought it. I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna date him on. Sorry, Jackie, I'm taking your shit. What? <laughs> Jack.
Good. I got some more ma I got some more money. Let's see what you got in messages. And... Alright. Another bell. Sort of a memento. His dad used to beat both Jackie and his mom with it. Until one day, Jackie fought back. Kicked his butt. Told him he'd kill him next time. The old man was hospitalized and then he left. Why'd he hold on to it? In case his dad ever comes back. Jackie's favorite tequila. Still sealed. It's his lucky charm. One of the first bottles ever made by Jesus de Abajo. The founder of Sansa Tequila. Only a hundred of them left in the world. All owned by the one percent. Wow, how'd Jackie get this one? Some shriveled abuela in Mexico sold it to him. Told him de Abajo had stolen a recipe. Should I take the tequila, the basketball, or the belt? Mm. Belt. The, okay. Belt it is. Your memento is. Well, you got something for your afrenda. But we can look around a little more. Nah, we're done here, Misty. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Oh, I'm serious. We're done here. Let it get going. Here's like, we're over this girl. Bye. Bye. I think I'll stay a while. Say bye to my peer. Mama Wells wouldn't want me there anyway. You gotta call me, Steve. You got a right to be there. I'd rather not get in Mama Wells' way. It's for family. You were family to him. I guess you're right. Thanks, V. So, shall we go? You ever thought you might leave that city? Sure. Once upon a time, I even tried. Seriously? You mean in... Packed my bags and hopped on a plane to Nepal. Thought I'd stay there. After a week, I realized I couldn't live without the traffic outside my window and my neighbors hollering. That makes sense. It was like, well, my, my sis is in Kansas, or, like I said, soon she'll be in Minnesota, but when she was in yeah. Kansas, she could not, she just, she misses the city life. Like, the traffic, all this and that. In all honesty, even I'm a big fan of living in the city. Despite, you know. Green teeth their own. Yeah. It's hard to tell, like, someone who has no desire to be in the city that you must be in there, but it's hard to tell a person who only has had to see that, oh, you must live that country life. Mm. Hey, it's good you're here. We're about to start. Sit down, please. And we got Vic, our, our ripper dog. I'm gonna smoke to- I'm gonna smoke to Jackie. I'm not going to tell you what kind of man my son was, or lament about how much I miss him. Instead, I'll tell you a story. When he was about 19 years old, Jackie was in the land. They were at war with Maelstrom back then. I get a call from the hospital. They tell me he got shot three times, just by the heart. He was conscious when I get there. So many tubes coming out of him. He looked like a, like a pulpo, like an octopus or something. He tell me, he said, No te preocupes, mama. Look, I'm bulletproof. Nothing bad will ever happen to me. And when I go, he take off his Valentino's ring. He swore he won't need it anymore. But he was not scared. He just didn't want me to worry. <laughs> this guns and bus, mi hijo.
Among the membership of the Night City Devils Boxing Club, we had this saying. Make your best friends among the fighters who knock you out cold. And it's true. Jackie's arm was a cannon. No one's ever hit me as hard. <laughs> I can still almost feel it. But, I mean, I get you were sent, dude, but... I, uh, I often think back to the first time me and Jack met. It all started <coughs> sort of here in my head. Then some badges showed up and beat the shit out of us both. Half my fault, half his. And we hightailed it out together. Half an hour later, oh, well, we eating dinner at Mama Wells. Turned out to have more in common than we thought. Principles. Jackie Wells. Best friend you could ask for. Loyal to a fault. Once he set his mind to something, he was ready to die to achieve it. He almost told me, go there. The one thing we can't do is be afraid of others. He kept Haywood in his heart, always. He made him who he was. But most importantly, um, no. Jackie loved life and had no fear. Hard on his sleeve. He didn't know where to think things. He just went for it. Thought he was bulletproof. And that he became a legend at the afterlife. And ultimately, he did what he set out to do. Shit in the shoes of some powerful people. And he's watching. I bet just about now, he's flipping them all the birds. He feared no one. He wasn't afraid. He lived life to the fullest. Where is this, you? I would like to say a toast. Or mi hijo. Rest easy, Chum. Thank you for your kind words. I'm glad you're here. It was a beautiful offend that we gave you. A lot of people come today. Even that Botica Jackie was messing around with. Uh, yeah. Her name is Missy. What? Missy. And she was very important to him. Do you understand? Go. Invite her on for dinner. It's the least she deserves. You know what? You're a good man. Jackie would want you to have these. You... You sure? Jackie would kill me if I got so much to scratch on it. So don't get any scratches on it. Thank you. I'll take such good care of it. We got the be. And now, to talk to Padre. The camp was all torn up. Says he feels like he lost one of his own. What if he gets torn up after he died? Yeah. You uh, here to say goodbye to one of your own? Padre. I'm here to say goodbye to a good man. How are things in the streets? 
This is not the place to conduct business. Have some respect. Damn right, Padre. Jackie, you know him well? I remember the day his mother brought him to this world. The day his father left. The day he took you into his home. Yes, we. I knew him quite well. So, Padre, you see Jackie's looking down upon us? From up there? I believe he has met God. So be That's it. I don't know if God left him getting happy, but I'm pretty certain Jackie did. And then we'll find Go with God. See you later, Padre. Ah, I can't run in here. I know I'm running out of time, but like I just want to get all the talking done so that way in the next uh, next week we get started on freshness. Uh, hey, you, Jackie, though. Have a drink with us. This thing's a skin, you know. Two wells? All right. Why not? Two wells. Rest in peace. Good for now. Thanks. See? Gotta know when to stop. Nah, give me a break. Alright, let's go. I'm gonna miss him. I already do. <laughs> me too, cabron. Me too. Here's the Jackie. Die off the greener pastures. Jackie Wells. Oh, well, you're not gonna drink Vic. A proud son of Haywood. Twelve rounds? I don't even think I can. I can. I don't even think I can do a round of pure boxing. Sure. <laughs> and there's Jackie's bike. It's better than V's car, but like, it's still a bike. Yeah. Anyway, let's end it here, narrator. And there you have it, runners. Tune in next week for Mad Hen Plays. Which one did we do? Fuck. Let's do I'll do this. From Mad Hen Plays. Uh, Cyberpunk. Boop. We said boop. <laughs>